Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to my cup of coffee. The trouble with Earl, 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 Earl Grey. Earl Grey, I'm gonna read it. Um, what were we talking with the Lady Grey about? Um, I think we talked about the maid. I think we made a small talk. Let's ask about herself. Um, I always thought you were an intriguing woman, woman if I might say so. I thought she was multiple women. Her face lit, lights up. Oh, great. I hope this doesn't mean she's going to talk about herself for like half an hour. Oh, really? You could tell me a bit more about yourself, maybe, huh? Oh, goodness, I don't know where to start. Somehow I have a sneaking suspicion you're going to find a place to start. Have you always lived in Teesside? Oh, heavens no. I grew up in Ceylon. Say London, actually. What brought you here? Well... Was it the tea wars? Did uh, Lord Grey capture you? When I came out of finishing school... They better put you back in. You don't look finished yet. <laughs> I met a handsome young man. At my coming of age ball. We danced two times and even asked for a third dance. Oh, that scallywag. Which I obviously rejected. What? What? Why? Why? Oh, you're such a simple soul, coffee bitch. Bless you. In high society, it's a complete scandal if an unmarried woman dances with a man more than twice. Oh, I'm not high society. I'm just a tea wench. Give me a break. Naturally, that needed, had to be remedied. So we got married. So the young man? Is now old man Grey? Oh, yes. The Earl of Lebanshire. He became my husband. Hence you coming to Teesside. Indeed. Uh, so we know more about Lady Grey now. I, I feel I've made a, made a connection with Lady Grey. I think we have till 5.30. I think that's when our work gets off. I like that. I like that our main character here is like, I work at the coffee shop. That's my job. I'm going to fix their marriage, but I'm only going to be willing to help until it's time to close the store. At which point, fuck you, I'm going home. Um, let's see. I think we asked about the maid. Uh, she's jealous of her. We asked about her. We asked about small talk. Let's ask about the locket. I've noticed your locket's still missing. Well, yes. It's not exactly missing. Where is it? My husband took it and never gave it back. Oh. Wow. What? Why? Why? Do you know why? No. She frowned and glanced over at the maid. But I have my suspicions. I doubt he took your locket and gave it to the maid. Because number one... That'd be the sleaziest thing ever to be like, woman, this gift I got you, I'm giving to another woman. Number two, I can't imagine the other woman wanting it. If you've dated someone, you don't want them to be like, this thing I bought for my ex, I took and give to you now. would <laughs> be like, no, ew, that was your ex's. Fuck that shit. Why don't I ask her about love? I had to proceed gently. With the greys, this seemed like a touchy topic. So have you been married a long time? It certainly feels like a long time sometimes. But 36 years is really nothing in the grand scheme of things. I'll be with the man till death do us part. There's some days I wonder if death might not be a charming stranger. Well, woman, your voice is beautiful and your sentiment is incredibly depressing. You're certainly uh, making an argument for never getting married. She blushed a little. Goodness me, I don't mean that in a morbid way, of course. Of course you don't. You're just in... Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at the clock to see what time I kick off for of work. Then I can go get drunk. I nodded for her to continue. I've been reading these novels by Jane, or Anne Justin, you see. And the love interests are always so attentive. That's not a realistic portrayal of a man. That's why you shouldn't read the books. I'm not talking about giant abs or giant penises or being amazing in the sack. The unrealistic depiction of a man who wants to listen all the time. We need, we need to watch sports. That's in our DNA. Not listen. <laughs> Damn you books! Maybe that's a romance novel I need to write. Instead of her, the guy being super romantic and sweet, he's just like, Yeah, I gave you a foot massage and listen to your story. And then one would be like, Oh my god, my man never does that for me. They make the heroine feel like the only woman in the world. That is fiction, Lady Grey. That isn't real, you know. That would be like me being like, Oh, I love Harry Potter and he's the best wizard ever. That's not true. Gandalf is... <laughs> Sometimes I wish it was me. Oh, Lady Grey, shut the fuck up. Um, I think we've talked with her about all that. Let's go talk to Earl Grey and ask about the locket. 
Lord Grey shifted uncomfortably as I looked in his directions. His fingers were tapping rapidly on his knee. Um, let's ask about the locket. I was wondering, have you noticed that your wife's locket is missing? The Earl looked momentarily shocked, but regained his composure quickly. No, uh, not really. His expression was completely blank, almost excessively so. I noticed the time, an hour had gone by so quickly. How, how have you not noticed the locket? Did maybe the maid take it accidentally? Let's go, let's go talk to the maid. Miss Jarjillian winked at me playfully. That slut. Let's ask her about the locket. Did you notice Lady Grey's locket is missing? Maria's eyes widened. Is it her or her? Well, I guess I didn't notice. Then why did you ask if it was missing? But I have no idea where it went. We're going to have to strip search you. Please take off all your clothes. Well, let's do it in the back room so no one else sees. I'll lock the door behind us. <laughs> she blushed and turned away from me. Mm. That is incredibly suspicious. Let's ask about Lady Grey. What can you tell me about Lady Grey? Did I already ask this? Not much, if I'm honest. She's a well-respected woman. Well-liked in the community, as you know, at the Bergamo Manor. All the staff speak highly of her. Do you? I don't think she likes me very much, though. Oh, why not? I don't know. I know why. Uh, so, tell me about love, baby. I couldn't think of anything new to ask. I don't care! I just want to get into her pants! Well, her dress. Well, now what the fuck do I do? I've... I've talked to the Earl. I've talked to the lady. I've, I've talked to Jar Darjeeling. But I, I don't have anything more to go off of. I... Lord Grey is uncomfortable. Let's ask about himself. So tell me a little about yourself. Uh, what would you like to know? I don't know anything. Hobbies? Uh, I like to read the news mostly. Wow. <laughs> wow. And you were the guy who was going to cause a scandal because you wanted to dance with a woman three times. You are the scandal monger, sir. Keep it in your pants. Reading the news mostly. Anything else? Uh, scientific journals? What about sports? Uh, I like to watch football from a distance. We support Assam United. What about asses? United asses? What sort of sport is this, sir? Who's who's we? Oh, did I say we? I meant I. You said we! Who do you watch sports with? Do you have a friend your wife doesn't approve of? She wants you to give her all your attention all the time. I know it sucks. That didn't seem particularly useful, but at least the Earl looks a little more relaxed. Uh, let's ask him about love. So how long have you been married? The Earl ignored my question. The newspaper is full of news, don't you know? I think I might have to chat about something easier earlier. Well, we talked about everything, didn't we? Is the butler feeling better? He's not bad, not bad. Let's do it again. Have you heard about Aston United? Oh, we have something to work with. Have I heard it? Have I? Who hasn't? I don't know what we're talking about. Terrible, wasn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, scandalous. Um, let's do one more. Oh, that's the butler one. We already did it. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, it worked! How long have you been married? Oh, a long time. Nearly 37 years, in fact. She said 36. You said 37. If you're more accurate than she is, then, hmm... Do you ever regret it? Whoa! <laughs> okay, I guess that's the marriage counselor part that we're helping with. That seems like a pretty big thing to be like, we've been married 36, 37 years. Most people are like, congratulations, that's impressive. Not coffee bitch latte. She's like, do you regret it? Is this sex lame? It is when I have sex, because I'm lame at sex. What? The Earl was silent for a moment, contemplating the question. No, I, I don't believe I do. Well, compared to your wife, that's a ringing endorsement of marriage. Um. What's the secret to happy marriage? I wish I knew. Are you unhappy? We're, uh, we're a bit of both, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I married a strong woman. You make her lift, bro? Is that how you got her? You're like, you lift, bro? You made her bench press to date you? I knew that then, but I didn't realize what it meant. Yeah, I like strong women too, Earl Grey, and it's difficult. No matter what I do, it's never enough! My wife always seems to ask for more. I'll work late to make sure she can afford any luxury she desires, but when I come home, she hounds me. Are you saying she's a real bitch? Oh! 
Where was I? Uh, why didn't I come home straight away? I was fucking working! I hired additional staff to, staff to help her with the household, but all you hear is why am I ungrateful for the work she does? There's no pleasing her. It almost feels as if I'll never be good enough for her. But she married you? I wonder if she regrets it now. Hmm. God, let's see. We have about an hour and a half left. Let's ask him about love one more time. I think I'm down with this topic. All right, let's, uh... Let's go talk to the lady. Lady was reading a novel with interest. She seemed well in herself. Let's make some small talk. Uh, how's the book? Lady Grey looked up from her novel. Terrible! How can Mr. Nit humiliate Mr. Boss is so? Interesting. Uh, let's do small talk one more time. What's the latest news? I know the Queen's second cousin. She says the Queen's taking a lack of food from the colonies. What colonies? India? Because the, 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 at the very beginning of the first episode, they said something about the Queen founding the tea shop. I thought it was in 1836, so it can't be the American colonies. Is there an independent nation by now? And nobody is ever like, yay, Canadian food. <laughs> Nothing against Canada. I love Canada. It's the only other country I've been to. Shocking. Um, let's ask her about love now. I couldn't think of anything new to ask. What do... Why, let's ask about the Earl. I had to make sure Lady Grey was comfortable enough to talk about her husband. Tell me a bit about the Earl. Delightfully handsome, stubborn, and never listens. He's a catch, all right, if you can keep him. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Never mind. No, explain. Listen to what you've been saying. It sounds like it's hard to keep your husband's attention. Well, I have my suspicions. Of what? That my husband's affections have been strained. No, he's not been doing it with the maid. What makes you say that? Lady Grey looks at her husband with a pained expression. She looks like she's crapping. You wouldn't be able to tell under that bustle? Call it a woman's intuition. So, knowledge gained affair. Hmm, is it intuition or paranoia? Maybe you're just paranoid, huh? paranoid honey. Affair? We better ask about it. You, you, what you mentioned about your husband? Have you got any specific examples? Well, he never shows any affection towards me. Yeah, that, that proves that he's having an affair. Maybe you're just an asshole to him and he's sick of trying and getting rejected. You ever think about that? I'm not bitter about anything. I don't know. They both sound difficult. The Earl's just like, I like reading the newspaper. And she's like, pay more attention to me. You don't pay enough. The Earl's working his fucking ass off to keep you in fancy hats and fancy woman bows and so you can have a staff to keep your house clean. What do you do all day? Your big thing all day is, you said in the other episode, I think it was, try to find a hat that matches your fucking dress. I'm sorry. If he's having an affair on you, I, I will be mad at him. I'll admit that. There's no excuse for having an affair. But, like, really, that's the most difficult thing in your life is I have to find what hat to wear and my husband doesn't give me enough attention. Get a job! Get a hobby! That way, when you hang out with your wife, or your husband, ah, whatever he is, he's kind of a girly man. He's off at home late from work. When I ask him about it, he refuses to explain why. Then there's the locket. How do you know your husband took the locket? Yeah, maybe you lost it. Maybe it went up your giant gaping butthole. I saw it with my own eyes. You saw him take it? Well, not exactly. I saw him give it to the maid. Miss Dar Darjeeling? The very same. I see. All right. Um, we're going to go talk to Miss Darjeeling. Miss Darjeeling winked at me playfully. Oh, man. Okay, we got about an hour and ten minutes left, I believe. Let, let's go ask about the locket. Are you sure you don't know where the locket went? Uh, she looked uncomfortable. I have an eyewitness who says it was given to you. Oh, very well. The Earl gave it to me. Uh-oh. Was I wrong all along to be mad at the Earl? Or, I mean, the woman? What's his wife's name? <laughs> I don't know her name. Uh, Lady Earl? <laughs> I'm like, okay, the woman. She's like, I got a name. I'm like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't make uh, Maria Darjeeling, though. She looked relieved after that confession. Why did you hide it from me? I was told not to tell the soul about it. I see. 
Let's ask about an affair. Are you aware there are rumors about you and Lord Grey? The maid blushed and waved her hand nervously. She probably farted and had a, you know... What, what rumors are rumors? Yes, that you're participating in relations with one another? Well, that's preposterous. I don't know. Don't let him touch my lady parts. She turned away and hit her, hit her face behind her hand. Now that is suspicious behavior. As someone who's been cheated on before, um, if you're like, I think you might be cheating. No, I'm not. And you hide your face behind your hands. It's not very good. I noticed the time. I had an hour left. I'm going to question her about the affair again. Then we'll go talk to Lord Grey. I think you're hiding something. Oh, I can't bear it any longer. Yes, coffee bitch, yes, I admit. I'm in love with Lord Grey, but is that really a crime? Well, depending on the time period you're in and whether or not you committed adultery, possibly it is. I know my place. I don't aspire to marry him. I just want to be close. Oh, man, you're desperate. And I was going to rub beans with you and make coffee. Oh, Maria, I don't know what to say. Please, please be a friend. Please don't breathe the word of it to the Greys. I... No, I'm going to go tell the Greys right now. No. I can't promise that, but if it doesn't hurt anybody, I won't. Oh, all right. Um. All right, let's go confront Lord Grey. He's... Lord Grey was reclining in the armchair. He looked a bit lonely. We've got questions for you, sir. Lock it now. How about your wife's locket? Uh, yes? I heard you gave it to the maid. Now, if it's unrequited love and the maid just has a crush on him, that's different. Either way, the maid is likely to lose her job, understandably. The Earl looked around a bit uncomfortably. Oh, all right, I did. I gave it to Miss Jarjilly. What the fuck kind of move is that? What, what the fuck kind of move is that? What, you don't have enough money to buy another locket? Why are you giving your employees, your pretty lady employees, lockets, especially ones that belong to your wife? That's insane. Really? Go read your newspaper. This just the newspaper shoved up idiot's ass. Why did you give the locket to your maid? Uh, for polishing, of course. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh. So, about that newspaper I was going to shove up your butt. Uh. Sorry about that. <laughs> That was not the answer I expected. Hmm. Polishing? Well, yes, our wedding anniversary is coming up and it's an important keepsake. Oh, Earl Grey, you're a romantic! Bastard. Let's ask about the affair. There's no graceful way to do this. I cleared my throat nervously. So, um, some people say you might be having an affair or something? Um, you know, uh... What? Preposterous! The Earl looked around nervously as his face turned a shade of red. Well, are you? Absolutely not! Very well. Now we're going to go talk to Lady Grey. I think we have some important information for her. Lady Grey kept tugging at the fabric of her dress near her heart. Do we tell about the locket? We're going to ruin the surprise. But you know what? It's better to ruin the surprise. I was like, we don't want to ruin the surprise of a nice locket. But right now, she's worrying that the husband she loves cheating on her. And I'm like, well, we want the locket to be shiny. We'll go talk to her about the locket. What if your husband took the locket for a good reason? Well, I can't think of a good reason why you take it behind my back. Well, you know. Um, good point. No, tell her, tell her. Why don't you ask your husband about the locket? I want to give him the opportunity to come to his senses. He may be passing his affections to the maid, but I am his wife. Wife. One day he will realize what he is doing and give the locket back to me. I think I'm done with this topic. I wanted to be like, he's getting your damn locket cleaned. I couldn't think of anything new to ask. Fuck. What do I do? Who do I talk to now? We have half an hour left. We basically, I think, got the mystery solved. I don't know if we've asked who we need to things. So Lady Grey and Lord Grey, or Earl Grey... They love each other. Lady Grey is a pain in the ass. And Earl Grey is insecure. Lady Grey technically is insecure too. That's why she's worried. Uh, Lady Darjeeling, or uh, Maid Darjeeling, has got an um, inappropriate crush on the Earl Grey. Hmm. 
Miss Darjeeling leaned sighed deeply and gave a small smile when she realized I was looking in her direction. Um, let's talk about love. How long have you been in love with Earl Grey? What? What? I wasn't sure why she was so surprised. We talked about this earlier. Well, you confessed just a moment ago. She suddenly started laughing. Oh, you were talking about Earl Grey, not Lord Grey. What? There's a difference? I'm not sure I catch the difference. Well, there's none, of course, except that there is another Lord Grey. Oh. Wow, I'm glad. I wow. <laughs> I almost got her fired. I was going to be like, she's in love with your husband. It suddenly dawned on me what this was about. Their son. Oh, you want to touch? Please let their son be an adult. They've been married for 36 years, so it's possible. I hope he's not like a 10 year old. Wow. What an amazing turn of events. How about that for their son, though? He's like, oh, sexy maid wants me. I don't know, maybe maybe he's got a wife or something, but, um, yeah. I love the twists and turns in this so far. My cup of coffee, indeed. Well, everybody, I think I might go get a cup of something, probably tea. I will see you all in the next episode, where hopefully we will finish up the mystery, and hopefully we can save the marriage and make Lord and Lady, well, not Lord Grey, Earl Grey and his wife happy, and who knows. I thought we were going to get with the maid, but whatever. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.